My name is Jeremy Hobart, I'm a neurologist from Plymouth and I've just chaired this evening's debate which is about the NHS England guidelines and algorithm for prescribing disease modifying treatments for people with multiple sclerosis and uh, the motion was that whether they would reduce variation in prescribing. Speaking for the motion, we had David Paling, who's a neurologist from Sheffield. And his, the planks of his argument were really that the, uh, the space now is very complicated and therefore it needs synthesising and simplifying and people need assistance in this process. And therefore the guidance plus the requirement that prescribing is through a multidisciplinary team will bring simplicity bring consistency uh, and in doing so reduce variance. Against the motion was Professor Gavin Giovannoni from Bart's MS group and the planks of his argument was that this is, is not the root of the problem, that the problem of variation in prescribing is largely an under-resourcing of the uh, neurology services for people with MS in the UK. And so he felt that the guidance and the algorithm would not get round and solve the, the key problem for, for us. And that what we would see would be uh, gaming behaviours and, um, and we would not see a reduction in variation until there was an increase in resource. There was then lively discussion. And, uh, and there's significant concern about the, the guidance process and the, the algorithms that have been proposed. And the, the algor algorithm is really um, a, a method that articulates nice guidance and therefore what we are uh, allowed to do within, within their um, prescripting, prescribing suggestions. Uh, so there was a lively debate and then followed by the question and answers and some voting. And um, 22 people voted within the room, which is not the entirety of the, of the contents. Initially, prior to the discussions of the speakers, 10 people voted for the motion and 12 against. After, and the, the, after the, the talks and the summing up, 11 people voted for and 8 against. So a number of people have abstained from voting, but now, in essence the swing was in favour of the guidance as being able to reduce variation in prescribing in the UK for people with MS.